Hello, I present specialized rock hopper comb in size small on 27.5 inch wheels from 2021 in very nice color called gloss clay, which is similar to lavender. Comb's equipment do not impress, even though it's the middle version and cost over 715 euros. I invite you to like and subscribe this channel, which helps a lot and motivates to create new videos. Fortunately, at least part of the drivetrain and hydraulic disc brakes are Shimano products, which cannot be said about 9-speed Sunrise cassette. Cranks with integrated chain rings, 2-bolt seat post, bridge sport saddle with a width of 155mm, short stem, handlebars and rims with internal width of 25mm are made by Stout, so specialized subbrand. The same as ground control 2.35 tires and I still cannot understand what is the point of putting such aggressive and wide tires on such a basic bike which makes it really sluggish. But it's still nothing, considering almost 3kg fork with steel spring from Santor. And this is why in the catalog specification this little specialized weighs over 14kg, so the same as my full suspension trail stamp jumper 29 in size large. As usual, my goal was to modify the bike to make it easier and more comfortable to ride and do it with less than 215 euros. Links to the parts I used you can find in the upper right corner and in the description. The most important change I made were the tires. I replaced old ones with very fast foldable racing shield wall with a width of 2.2. I also save a lot of weight on cranks by installing a light Dior 6000 with Holotech 2 system and cheap Decas chainring. I replaced cassette to Shimano Dior because in my opinion Sunrays work worse and is heavier. I also put on nicer and lighter rotors which creates more aggressive and modern look. I installed force handlebar with 45mm rise for a more comfortable and upright position and I added wireless Sigma BC 10.0 speedometer so the owner can now track her riding progress. The cherry on top was a 9 years old super light RockShox Riba Air Fork which weighs only 1600 grams. I had to hunt on it for over 3 months because nowadays it's not easy to find something good for 27 inch wheels and straight steer tube. Unfortunately, the newest rock hoppers no longer have tapered head tube like previous generations, about which I also made a series of videos. This, an installation of steel 3kg Santor in a bike for over 715 euros, is a shame in my opinion. Anyway, after these changes, rock hopper became lighter by over 2kg, it is also more agile, faster and more comfortable. And this is the cost of modifications after selling all parts. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!